Okay, everything checks out. Okay, uh, well, good morning. Well, I made a big change to my ranger this morning. Um, just... Just, um, the, uh, wiper strike I was using was getting a little long in the tooth. Just getting burned out and what... On it just felt like trying something different. So, the main ability I switched to is, uh, Wild Strike. Um, for the most part, the whole skeleton of my build hasn't changed. Just the main abilities used. Um, while a single target is still Wild Strike. Oh, we start with this. This is my, uh, Raider Ranger. And right now she's centered on Onslaught. But if and when I ever get the uh, Merciless Labyrinth done, it's probably going to be going here. And then, uh, if I ever... <laughs> if I ever do the <laughs> Eternal Labyrinth... <laughs> if I ever do that, um, then it'd be this. But... but like I said, this is, um, this is a work in progress. I made a whole bunch of changes to it, but like I said before... The general, the general skeleton of this whole build hasn't really changed. Uh, like I said, going back to what I was saying, single target is still Viper Strike or Wild Strike. Of course, I have it with Hypothermia. I couldn't really think of anything else in there, and uh, I don't think I have 25 chromatic orbs, orbs to make uh, make two red sockets. So I figured since I have this. I have this already, I'll just throw that in. It basically affects uh, chilled enemies. Then faster attacks and multi-strike. AoE, same thing. Wild strike. With faster attacks, ancestors call, and multi-strike. Um, my movement slash teleport ability is charge dash. Same as always. With fortify. Faster attacks. And um, this is another change I made to my build. Um, I got rid of uh, poison support. I think I did. I got rid of poison support on all these. And replaced it with blind. 10% um, chance of uh, blinding them. Which uh, means their chance to hit is reduced by 50%. Because having blinding them means I can stay in battle longer. I'm going to be hit as less. Or I'm not going to be hit as much. Excuse me. Uh, let me see what else, what else, what else. And then, um, Ancestral War Chief. I switched totems. No longer use decoy totem. It's outlived its usefulness. Um, plus, uh, it has a four second cooldown. And uh, if it dies, if the totem dies way before then, I'm basically screwed for the next few seconds. So, this one doesn't have a cooldown. So, I can basically, like, I can basically lay it down every second. And um, show you what I got on it. Increased area effect. Faster attacks. And it also has blind support. This this uh, particular gem here was a recent addition. It used to be poison support. I just keep forgetting to change it out. So it's at level 1. Ran with uh, I ran with this uh, for a while. So it's at level 15. Uh, stone Golem, uh, Elemental Resist, and also Blind Support. Hey, this might seem like overkill, especially considering that uh, I have a Stib Knight Flask in there, which uh, creates a small cloud, which blinds them, but the big drawback on that one there, it's a little cloud that affects only one area, and all of these have only a 10% chance that can't be increased, so I pretty much have to put blind support wherever I can. So, and then, um, and then I got haste. I, I think there was, a there was also a curse called elemental weakness, but again, I believe that's a blue gem, and I don't want to, I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to go through chromatic Olympics trying to get a, trying to get a blue socket in there so I can replace it. Plus, I'm a real sucker for speed anyway, despite the fact that I can't control it half the time. And then this one here hasn't changed. Poacher's Mark. Oh, wait, my brain farted. I mean, 
Portrait's Mark, um, it's too versatile for me to replace that. Otherwise, that would have been a elemental weakness. But again, it's a blue gem, and I'm really not in the mood for the for soccer Olympics and try to get it get it to work right. So, so that's what I got. Um, I'll and I'll go ahead and show you what I've changed over here in the tree. I used to have this whole tree lit up here, or this whole area lit up here, but uh, I wiped all that out and replaced it with stuff down here. And I still have yet to get that. And as a little sample, And for a little while, I'll go ahead and put my headphones on. Oh, and I also forgot to mention this is not part of a stream. This is a standalone video. So, for whatever that's worth. Going with Beach, it's currently my favorite area. Uh, wide open, and the boss isn't that difficult to beat. much an instant kill if I stayed in there. Like I said, there's no cooldown on this. One other thing I like about this ability is it is from the uh, fire explosion you get you hear that it sounds like somebody's someone's got a big kettle drum when they're beating out just sounds really cool the bloodline.
Yeah, I'm gonna clear this whole area out first before taking on the boss. And um, those that have watched me stream know my playstyle. Despite the fact that uh, it's either Raider Ranger who is uh, super speedy, I'm not a speedrunner. At least when running maps, I try to kill everything. Um, and I check out everything. I'm not the kind of person that likes to go from point A to point B to the boss as quickly as possible. Unless I'm running old stuff. I still got quite a ways to go on this map. Nope. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and do a Katarina's mission. Game crash. Um, yeah. Game froze up. <laughs> 